Hey guys, it's Too Busy here with another tech tip. This is one of two where it's going to be all about paddles. In segment one, we're going to talk about picking the right paddle for the kind of paddling that you do. you got to think whitewater, recreational, touring, fishing, uh, multi-use, kind of, and we'll go through the strength of each paddle. First off, I've got a, a Perception stock paddle. This is a whitewater paddle. It's got a short blade, wide blade, pretty heavy duty paddle. Whitewater paddles tend to be stronger, heavier than their touring and multi-use counterparts because you need to move a lot of water right now. Whenever you need to make a turn, run upstream, or if you need help, need power to uh, get through an Eskimo roll, this is the right paddle for you. For me, I do a lot of fishing and I cover a lot of miles. So I use a touring paddle. This one is an Aquabound Fin Stalker. This is probably the first thing, first paddle in Aquabound series specifically for the fishermen. What it is is a 240 centimeter paddle. It's got a carbon fiber shaft for super lightweight. Now the difference in blade is this has a long, narrow blade, what you'll see on touring paddles typically. The Fin Stalker, uh, one other nice feature, it's got a handy dandy hook, uh, hook retrieval tool. Fishing down here in Charleston, you never know. Sometimes you're going to be on the oysters, that can save you a few bucks. Third paddle is a Carlisle Day Tripper. This is a multi use paddle. You're going to find a multi use paddle has a shorter blade than a touring paddle, wider than a touring paddle, but not as short or as wide as what you'll see on a whitewater paddle. It is a little heavier duty than what you'll find on the touring paddle as well, but again, not as heavy as the whitewater paddle. This one is probably the most popular paddle on the market today. It's not necessarily a Carlisle, but a multi-purpose paddle. Uh, every manufacturer makes them. You can pick one up with an aluminum shaft, typically under 100 bucks. Fin Stalker, on the other hand, is closer to 200 carbon fiber shaft, it's absolutely worth every penny. Last paddle I'm going to show you is Too, too Busy Homemade Paddle. I've been using this paddle for about 15 years now. Closet rod from Lowe's, a little leftover fiberglass from a project that I was working on around the house, and I wound up with a 250 centimeter paddle that is almost as light as a Werner, but cost 15 bucks in a couple of hours of my time. Pick the paddle, based on what you plan to do. If you're a fisherman, you're working on rivers a lot, go with the whitewater paddle. If you're a fisherman and you're doing a lot of estuary work, if you're like me, paddling around Charleston Harbor, hitting the intercoastal waterway, covering a lot of miles, use a touring paddle. Uh, also, if you're like me and you're Mr. Thrifty, think about doing one yourself. You can make whip one out in about four hours and you'll be proud to use it. That's it for this episode. Stay tuned for episode two where we're going to talk about paddle fitting.